You have reached your destination. Yep. Okay, so I pulled apart my uh, my bad MGA wiper motor. It's assembly. Um, I won't say it's bad, but it's you know, pretty fucked up. Not the greatest. And uh, I, I'm, I'm wanting to see if I can do something with this cam and actuator, which is native to the MGA, uh, with something into my uh, um, my TR7's motor. It looks like it's the same, some kind of assembly on a larger scale. Okay, so I'm gonna pull that clip off here in a second and take out the uh, and take out that um, that gear and cam. But check this out. All right, so this. This cam is held in place with these two little square pieces, so one can't revolve around the other. However, after I clean this up a little bit, shazam. And if this rod length is the same as on the TR7s, this will be a 10 minute, if that, change around. So I'm going to press pause. I'm going to pull this apart. I'm going to see if I can do the same thing and uh, we'll go from there. Okay. And uh, so far so good. That came out in literally a minute. Um, and check this out. Let's see if I can make this. It appears they are the same height. The length of the, the rod here. I'm going to take this to my kitchen. I'm going to clean it up. I'm gonna pop this sucker out, put this sucker in. I'm likely gonna to have to find a way to affix the cam to this new uh, new larger um, gear, but that's gonna be easy. That's JB Weld. So fucking A, gosh darn it, heck yes. Okay, this is clean up and looking pretty. Um, you'll notice though that this is not only held on or held together with the square notches, but with rivets, four of them. I noted that in a previous video, but it didn't occur to me that I'd need to worry about it. So I'm going to worry about it. Um, and I'll take a few minutes to drill them out from the other side and uh, pull the uh, the gear off of this uh, this cam. Yeah, check it out. And so the five minutes it'll take will be three of it putting a uh, correctly sized drill bit. Maybe I could use a Dremel. Ah, oh, screw it. Drill bit. Yeah. Pause. Okay, I've got the setup ready to go. I've got this clamped in my vise. I actually used a piece of leftover carpet um, to kind of pad that uh, that cam. And you can see how large my bit is. Uh, this is on purpose. I just want to grind off the head entirely and then pop them through to the other side. Um, and then I'll see, I'll go nice and gently with that, uh, that uh, plastic gear. So without further ado, um, here we go. Hmm. Hmm. Hold on. Well, that actually worked out better than I thought it did. I, I grabbed a, a punch and yeah, there it went. So there's that rivet. You can see it there for scale. If it would goddamn freaking focus. Thank you, stupid damn thing. Top of the line Samsung and it's not top of the line. All right, so next one.
Here we go. Wow, they're still hot too. Jesus. All right. Everything out from there. Let me zoom out a little bit. And let's see if I can oh, pop it out if I can. Just felt a give. It's moving, but barely. What else is left in this thing? If I had a massive enough socket, I could pound it out that way a bit. I'm gonna press pause and work with this a little bit. Yeah, I'm getting it. So I've got about uh, a minute's worth of uh, work into this. You can see I've already gone 16th of an inch. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that is. Eighth of an inch. Um, let's see if I can keep on working it. With that, oh yeah. Come on, bitch. There we go. There's that. All right, moment of truth. Let's go over here where it's easier to see. All right. It fits. fits well. So I had thought I would need to worry about how to mount this. If I do nothing right now, you can see that with any tension, without any modification of this thing, I'm going to have to do something to it so that as the gear turns, this, uh, this turns with it. What I'm likely to do, finish cleaning up this gear, and as you can see, I've got these, in, whoops, these indented areas here. I'll fill that all the way up to the rim with JB Weld, which I've got a lot of. And then I'll grind it smooth. Well, who cares if I grind it smooth, right? It doesn't matter. I'll grind it smooth so it looks nice because I'm a perfectionist, sort of, but... Hell yeah! So you can see what kind of a difference there was between one and the other. MGA, TR7, and you can see the kind of a distance. Um, yeah, it's quite prodigious. It's my word for the day, prodigious. So I'm going to pause. I'm going to clean, and I'm going to get some JB Weld. God damn thing, focus. Um, get some JB Weld going. So I put some tape on the back of this. Um, I'm about to mix up some JB Weld. The stuff I'm about to use runs pretty easily. Um, and, I, and I don't want it all over my garage. Actually, I don't really care, but... So there's that, right? There's my cam. And let's see, where do I want this? Roughly here. Okay. A bit of adjustment. Um... It's in there pretty snug, too. There. Perfect. Um. So I'm wondering about something here. Um, anyway, so I'm going to fill, whoops, this and this with JB Weld. And in theory, it will also incorporate part of the cam here, although I foresee a possible issue with this already. I may need to build up something here and here so that there is a good chunk for this to hang on to and not just slide through around in there. So I'm going to think about that for a second and press pause. And there we go. Um, I have the JB Weld uh, kit and I'm about to mix some up here and it comes a, a stir stick. I've cut that in half quarters or three quarters or thirds and you can see where I've placed dams for lack of barriers 
And again, I want that JB weld to fill all the way up, both go into the holes, both sides there and there, and all the way up so that it, you know, grabs into this little keyhole area. Um, I'm going to strategically pause while I mix up the JB weld and I'll get it going here in a sec. And I'm mixing, oh Jesus. Son of a bitch. Sorry, I'm trying to mix this stuff and zoom in on this dang sprock at the same time. Alright, here we go. First one. A little bit more than I wanted. Okay, well, who cares? Actually, it's probably better if I do spread it out just a little bit. Taylor Swift. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same with this one. All right, so I'm used to wiping myself off on my clothes. I wear grungies in the garage, and I just wiped it off on my armpit, and I have a hole in my arm chair, uh, shirt. So now I have epoxy all over my freaking arm hair. Armpit hair. Son of a... Oh, that's going to be gross. All right, so this says uh, sets in five minutes, cures in one hour. Um, I will come back in an hour and see how it went. Um... It doesn't look too bad, actually. And I'm probably just going to leave that wood there. Um, because if you look, if you can tell, yeah, you can tell in the photo here, this here is whatever distance that is, what, six, a quarter of an inch? Sixteenth of an inch? I don't know. And the level of the uh, of the epoxy here and the level of the uh, little, little dams I made are well below that there. So it may not look pretty, but you're not going to see it because it's going to be behind all of the casing and everything else. So so pause and I'll come back. So now I'm done. Um, I have elected to put the uh, the gear back in and greased it up. I have not put anything else together. I haven't put the, uh, the locking ring on the back, yada, yada, yada. I'm going to more or less let this uh, draw... God. I'll let it focus first, but uh, I'll let the uh, the epoxy dry overnight, and I'll attack it again uh, tomorrow. I can put a fingernail indentation in this, so it's definitely not ready for prime time, but yeah, it's best to let it go for 24 hours, but not bad. I'm very, very pleased by how this turned out. I'll be even more pleased once I get the dang thing into, uh, put back together and end, uh, into my car. Yep, yep.